All right, hello, good morning, good evening, and good night. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic because today we're going to be talking about two funds. We're going to be talking about YMAG, YMAX, and we are going to potentially be comparing them to the S&P 500. So what I want to talk about in this video is exactly what YMAX and YMAG paid out as their most recent distributions because... As mentioned on their Twitter, they just recently announced their distributions. I also want to talk about, I bought some more WiMAX and I want to go over how many shares I bought, exactly what's going on there. So I'll put my orders up. And then at the same time, just to kind of go over my opinion. And once again, I mentioned in this video how I want to invest in yield. Uh, yield max is y max and why exactly i bought so we're going to talk about all of that in this video we're currently up to 5649 subscribers 239 subscribers in the past 28 days that is awesome guys thank you very much for all the love on the recent videos and remember to get your your new account with quest trade and your 50 dollars down below in the description cool so let's talk about YMAX and YMAG. So you guys know what YMAX and YMAG are. They're, the, they're now weekly dividend yielders from YMAX. YMAG covers seven ETFs from YMAX, which are kind of covering Google, Amazon, Apple, Facebook, NVIDIA. They're all invested. They're the YieldMAX versions that are invested within the price returns of these underlyings. Whereas YMAX holds about 24 different YieldMAX ETFs. It holds all the YieldMAX ETFs. And you can potentially say it's a little bit more stable in terms of share price, but really they're both very stable, very solid because they have a bunch of ETFs under them. They're not individual ETFs. Cool. So now that we have that out the way, we can look at kind of the price reaction of both of them over the past little while. But before I do that, I just want to mention their dividends. So you can't see it on YieldMax's website yet because they haven't announced it. But today they announced a dividend for YMAX of 20 cents. So 20.44 cents. You can see that right here. And if we go to their recent dividend, it's a little bit less. Their last dividend was 20, 20 cents. It was 27.6, but now it's 24.4. So a little bit less than their most previous dividend. But you could see in YMAG, we have a huge jump to 28 cents, 23. So if we go to the last dividend, I don't even think so YMAG has not even touched 20 cents in terms of their distributions, their weekly distributions. But you can see here now it's jumped up to 28 cents. So a huge bump in YMAG. That is a great thing if you are a YMAG investor, because I know a lot of our subscribers are. So now that we have that out the way, what I want to talk about is my recent buy because in my portfolio, I was putting in a lot of cash, but you could see that cash has been converted into some investments. What did I buy? I bought some more YMAX. And today what I did is if we look at this position right here, I bought 64 shares at $17 and 41 cents. And if we just do that math quickly, we have 64 shares times the recent dividend, which is 0.244. That means I'm going to be receiving about $13 more every single month because of my recent investment in YMAX. And what did that cost me? That cost me about, I think it was $1,100. We'll do 64 times my share price of $17.41. So you can see it cost me about $1,115 for this kind of investment here. But that puts my total position up to 655 shares in my kind of cash account here. So 655 shares if we do that math just to kind of see what i'll be receiving for this this week not this month but this week so i'll be receiving roughly 133 dollars that's not bad and i understand yield max um, yield max is y max the distributions have been slightly going down ever since they contributed to these weekly dividends so hopefully we can see some appreciation in y max and we can see some appreciation once again in these distributions so now what I want to talk about, kind of the last thing here, is I want to talk about SPY compared to both YMAX's chart and YMAG's chart. Because they have all very similar situations here where September 11th, they kind of had this huge run up here, <clears throat> which kind of flattened out towards the end of the month. Same thing we see in YMAG. And then pretty similar thing we see in YMAX with just a little bit more kind of downward pressure here see a big dividend being paid out here and another smaller dividend being paid out here but roughly about the same size so for spy i have the calculator out i want to take the low point in the month which was 541 dollars and if you stick with me now what we'll do is we'll kind of see the price returns of what exactly they've been doing over the past month 
and we're at current levels of $576. So I want to divide that 576. Let's see what the return was for this month. Subtract by one. So roughly about 6%. The market returns about 7% on average per year. Maybe it's closer to like 11%. But you could see here that in one month, the market has returned about 6%. And you can see it's a pretty big increase. We're looking at right about September 11th, September 10th was really the start of another bull run for the market. And over the past year, it's been in a pretty much uptrending market, which works in favor for our WiMAX investment which of course pays out 61% dividend yields. So we can't expect it to necessarily stay trending up, but we can expect it to pay out some pretty good dividends and some pretty good income and hopefully stay relatively flat with its price return, which it, it kind of has. So when looking at this, let's kind of look at YMAG over the past month. We know that SPY returned about 6%. Let's see YMAG. So we have 18.47 at the start of the month, 18.47. For, is it 18.47 or 18.4? What? We, yeah, 18.47. Fantastic. 18.47 divided by the current share price, which is 18.93. And we're just doing this to compare the returns of the S&P to YMAG and YMAX. Subtract by one, we have 0.24. So 2.4%. But as well, we have to add in those contributions. So if we look at all the dividends being paid out from YMAG, we're looking at 19. Uh, where, where should we go here? Yeah, we're looking at because this is past September 11th there. We have 19, 17, 16. So we're looking at roughly about 53 cents plus this dividend was also taken out here 28. So 53 cents. We're looking at 68. We're looking at 80 cents. So what we'll do here is we're going to do 18.47 was our original. We're going to divide that by uh, what do we have here? We have 18, if I go to here, 18.93 plus 80 cents, 0.93 plus 0.8, boom. So this is kind of our total return. This is what, if we were to be collecting dividends and then just adding it to our capital, this is what it would be, 19.73. So we have 18.47 divided by 19.73. And this will kind of show us our total return over the past month, which is actually looking very close slightly beating 6.3%. So we were 6.0 on SPY and we're 6.3% for the return on YMAG. So we are in fact beating the S&P 500 with YMAG over the past month. That's fantastic. Now let's see about YMAX. YMAX over the past month, it started September 11th at 1695. 1695 is just a point to keep in our mind. We have right now 1743 but we need to add up all of these dividends when we add up these dividends we're looking at 22 42 uh, 44 and then we're looking at 64 cents plus this dividend here 64 cents we're looking at 84 cents so we're taking our current share price 1743 17.43 plus 84 cents boom 1827 is our total return with dividends added to this current share price. So we have 18.27 and let's get this divide, division, division here. Let's see what we got. 16.95 divided by 18. Oh man, I'm uh, I'm forgetting my numbers here. Now I gotta go back, 17.43, 17.43 plus 0.84, boom, 18.27. 1827, we have 16.95 divided by 1827. Pardon me, I'm so grateful for you guys for sticking with me. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. And you know what? A little surprise for you because YMAX was actually the best performing ETF in the month of September 11th to October 11th. So what a little surprise there. So we had YMAG at 6.3%, S&P 500 at 6%, and we had YMAX putting out 7.2%. So that is just a little bit of a surprise. That was a surprise to me. That's fantastic because that's the one I'm going heavy on right now. 655 shares of WiMAX. If you guys are invested, leave a comment below how many shares you guys got. It's just a little video to go over the WiMAX, WiMAG dividend to kind of talk a little bit about how they've been returning over the past month because we haven't talked about that too much. And then as well to go over dividends, my buy, everything like that. So if this video was clear and you guys liked it, we're up to 500, 649 subscribers. Subscribe if you guys enjoyed, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.